Hey guys, welcome to today's video, and today I'm going to be remaking What If Prince Zuko Had Killed Firelord Ozai? So where we begin is the day of Black Sun. Prince Zuko has confronted his father in his chamber. The Imperial Firebenders have left, not knowing what's going to happen. This begins as normal with the two confronting each other. Now, instead of Zuko deciding that it is Aang's job to defeat Firelord, he fights him. Zuko having his swords. Now, Ozai is an incredibly powerful fighter. With or without his firebending, he is still very skillful. So it's not just an instant victory for Zuko. He has to fight him off a bit. But unfortunately for Zuko, Ozai buys himself enough time for the eclipse to end, firing a lightning blast at his own son. Zuko, infuriated, redirects this and fires it straight at Ozai. This time it's not an explosion that sends him flying back. The blast goes straight through his chest, killing the Fire Lord. Zuko didn't think that he had this in him. He's incredibly shocked and panicked. He runs out of the room. This is when he finds Azula. He says, what's happened? Azula says that she had just stopped the Avatar and two of his friends. Zuko says that he's just found their father dead. He says that he went to talk to him, left the room. Minutes later, he heard a scream and then he went back in. Their father was dead. Azula finds it hard to believe that she's in a lot of shock that their father's dead. The two of them have to head straight back out onto the battlefield. This, because there is no command from Ozai, there's, it's still happening the same, but Zuko informs the generals that are leading the attack, the defence of the Fire Nation, that Ozai is dead. And someone shouts out, the Fire Lord is dead? The firebenders stop. They stop for a minute, stop their attacks. So, this is when the invasion forces manage to buy themselves a bit of time and defeat some of the forces of the Fire Nation. While a Koda, he signals for a lot of them to back off and get to the ships while they've got chance. So, eventually the Swamp Benders manage to protect the ships long enough for just a few more of the fighters to get away. All the kids still manage to get away on Appa, just with the Swamp Benders and a couple of Earth Benders managing to get away in the submarines. But most of the Water Tribe men are captured. So while all this has been happening, Iroh has still escaped, but he's not gotten away from Fire Nation. He heard straight away that Ozai is dead, and he decided not to straight away leave, but to keep an eye on things, because he knows that now Zuko will be crowned Fire Lord, but Azula will not let it happen without a fight. So, Aang and the others managed to get away to the air temple and as well as the others that escaped, they follow them. So, I'm going to make this a bit longer than what I did for the last video. So, this is what I would have done for part 2. So, it's the day of Zuko's coronation. As he's about to be crowned Fire Lord, Azula stops the Fire Sage and says, I have one question for you, Zuko. So, you said that you went to talk to Father beforehand. Why? He says, he's my father, do I need a reason to go talk to him? In the middle of an invasion. The most important time of this war. A time where we could have lost. We could have lost everything and you decide to take father's attention away from this? Why, Zuko? He says, 
that's between me and father. And Zula proceeds to say, well, then answer me this, you say you heard a scream, father would never scream. Just minutes after you leave, he's dead? Something doesn't add up here, Zuzu, does it? Zuko stands up and fury and says, What are you implying, Azula? He says, Well, I had the Avatar fighting me and my daily agents. So, who was it that killed him, then, Zuzu? Was it that waterbender girl? Zuko takes a step back and says, I don't know, it could have been. She is an incredibly powerful waterbender. Zola just looks at him and says, The blast in Father's chest. It looks to me like a fire blast. The fire sages find this incredibly shocking. And all the crowd demands to see Fire Lord Ozai's chest. So, the body is actually shown in a very disrespectful manner to the public for them to decide. And Azula says, does that not look like a fire blast to you? Everyone agrees. Zuko says, fire blasts don't make that kind of hole like that. That's a lightning blast of anything. And the only lightning benders that I know of are you, father and uncle. But Azula says, so are you saying it was uncle that did this? Zuko says, this could have very well been you, Azula. Everyone knows that you have a quest for power, a thirst for it. And you have no emotion. You're always out for yourself. You could have done this. She says, I have my daily agents, and even the word of the Avatar to say that I wasn't there. So, Zuku, Zuko, who can justify you? Who can vouch for you? He says, everyone knows that I'm not a lightning bender. Says, yes, but as I recall, you spent a lot of time with Uncle Iroh. And he invented a technique to redirect lightning. Zuko is beginning to sweat. Says, Azula, enough of this. I'm about to be crowned your fire lord. I demand you shut up now. Or I will have you imprisoned. Azula says, How can we trust anyone that could have murdered our own fire lord, his own father? Now, there's two heirs to the throne. Me, or Zuko. Now, Zuko, I challenge you to an Agni Kai, a fire door for the throne. Zuko says, I don't have to accept this. He says, you don't, but if you don't, you have no respect of your people. Everyone's always going to be wondering who would have won, who is a worthy person to be sitting on that throne. Zuko is sweating. He doesn't know what to do. He eventually see, says that he needs to fight Azura. He will battle her. So, the Agni Kai begins. Zuko is more powerful than what he was before and with a calmer mind. But he is still fueled on rage so he hasn't lost his firebending abilities yet battle rages on and it is intense Azula getting the upper hand of Zuko. This is when a blast strikes the ground. Smoke appears and Zuko is gone. This was caused by Iroh firing a lightning blast down into the middle of the Agnikai stage and Zhang Zhang the deserter using his typical disappearing technique with firebending to get Zuko and get out of there. Although they haven't got far, 
they managed to get far enough away for no one to see them. Now, the three meet up and Zuko says, what's going on, why did you do that? Iroh says, we need to get out of here, now. We need your help Zuko and I couldn't let you die. You would have died there and you know it. Zuko is ashamed and embarrassed, he says to his uncle, I killed him, I killed my father. Iroh puts his hands on Zuko's shoulder and says, I know, it's okay. Your father was a monster. So is your sister. That is why I'm taking you to the White Lotus. Here we will come up with a plan. We will help the Avatar defeat the Fire Nation. Azula will not win this war. That is where I will leave it for now guys. What did you think? If you liked the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think. And as always guys, thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.